I'm so lucky. Every morning I get to walk about two hours, sometimes three hours if I'm lucky. And uh, just as a form of exercise, mental exercise, uh, physical exercise, I get to walk and um, I just enjoy walking for hours. And then during my walks, I get to have a lot of thoughts, plan, fantasize, daydream, you name it. All sorts of thoughts go through my head. My, I'm always thinking. Um, but today in particular, I was having some thoughts. I was remembering something that happened yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but I, I'm currently on TikTok um, putting up some videos for fun. It's just for fun. And uh, there's this one character who's been interacting. I want to call it trolling, but I'm going to say, I'm going to be nice, interacting with my videos. Um, he's commented at least on about three or four of my videos. Um, but the comments, they're not very nice, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't know him. I don't care. So I've been replying and interacting. And yesterday in particular, he made a comment. And last night I was like, I'm not replying today. I'm just going to wait and, and reply with a video tomorrow. But last night I couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking. I was, I couldn't sleep. I was like, I was excited. It wasn't anger. It was just excitement about, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say that, and I'm going to come back at him. Um, <laughs> so I got, I got sleep. I did, I was able to sleep, but this morning along my walk, I was thinking about it again and I was thought, sort of like role playing what I was going to say in my video and my comeback. Uh, so that was that. And this pop, this thought popped in, that thought popped in. There was one moment while I'm walking this morning that a thought popped in and, and, and that thought kind of put me in a place where I was like not feeling for, for a moment, I wasn't feeling great. Uh, some negative emotions were coming up and, um, I was just, uh, I was, I, I let them flow because sometimes you just got to let them go. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't go down the rabbit hole because I caught myself in time. I like, I can do that now. Now, if I have negative emotions, I know how to bring myself back. Uh, so, so I had some thoughts and, and it, it wasn't good. It wasn't nice. And, uh, after that, after I was like, okay, so I'm going to say this, I'm going to say that, I'm going to say this. And, and, and then all of a sudden I, I have a thought, be impeccable with your word. And I was like, yes, that's exactly what I needed to remember. And be impeccable with your word. This is from the book, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Um, if you haven't read it, you should. And um, there's a couple of other books, uh, The Mastery of Self um, the mastery of love, just look them up. Don Miguel Ruiz. And then there's also Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. And, um, these books are fantastic. But in this case, the, the phrase be impeccable with your word came to my mind and, and it stopped me. It stopped my thoughts real quick because what does he mean by this? He, he describes it like this. Speak with integrity honesty and truthfulness. Say only what you mean. Speak of what you desire. Avoid speaking negative, negatively about yourself or others. Use your words in a positive direction of truth and love. <laughs> Let's just sit with that for a moment. It's a good one. Be impeccable with your words. Be impeccable with your thoughts because your thoughts become words. And that, like I said, that stopped me and reminded me that I am not looking to hold any, just any discomfort or any negative feelings towards anyone, because we are all just trying to do our very best, um, however way that might be. And we do our very, we try to do our very best based on our beliefs and based on our upbringing, based on our surroundings based on what we're feeling right now. Um, sometimes you get in caught, caught up in some feelings and some emotions and some situations and you feel like you can't get yourself out of it. Um, and that's the reality. That is your reality. It doesn't have to be and it will change, but that is the reality you're living at the moment and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, but anyway, so that brought me back. 
it brought me, it centered me. It, it brought me back. Be impeccable with your word because what I was feeling, what I was thinking was just ridiculousness because for whatever reason, I allowed a, a old habit to pop back up. Um, and that's not where I'm headed anymore. I really, this person that, that again, the TikToker, um, didn't bring any negative feelings out of me. Um, but it does make you think about, you know, situations where people, you might feel triggered by someone or by something someone says. And, uh, if you can, it's, it's really a plus, a positive for you, for me, for us to remember that sending negative vibes to anyone is only holding you back. And that brings me to my next one, which is do not lower your vibration for anyone or anything because a high vibration is what's going to help you attract the life that you want. And what do we want? Why do we want things? Why do we want a car, a house, a family, a relationship? Because we feel, or we believe that in having these things, we're going to feel better and that our lives are going to be great. And so all that is, is just finding that feeling. Like, how can you feel happy now? How, how can you feel love now? How can you feel joy right now without those material things, without the physical person that you're waiting for? It's by finding the best feelings you can find. It's by being impeccable with your words, with your thoughts. Be impeccable with your word. When you, when someone does something that doesn't feel right or it just annoys you, try your best to remember that we're all here just trying to do our very best to find that happiness, that joy, that love, because we all come from it. We're all here for that. No matter how complicated, difficult somebody might be, we're all here for, to feel good. We want to feel good. Even the people who aren't the best people, they have a purpose and their purpose is to feel good. They just, it's clouded. It's, they can't find it at the moment for whatever reason, because they're focused on the reality of their now. Um, but there is a better reality. The reality is that things do change. Things do get better. Things are always working out for us, no matter how deep you think it might get. You know, and when I was planning for, for this program today, I wanted to talk about, um, certain things of my past because that's where I was emotionally. I was thinking of uh, a time in my past a couple of years ago, was it five years ago? Um, that I had a really hard time. I had, uh, I, I went through a bad depression. It was bad. Um, in another show, those things will come up because, uh, one of the things I want to share is how I've been able to take some of the things that have, um, felt like I was at a dead end or I was hitting a brick wall and turn them around how I was able to do that. And, uh, but the message for today is be impeccable with your thoughts, be impeccable with your word. It's going to make a big difference in what you, what you manifest, what you, what you see on a day to day today as, uh, the first, one of the first things I saw along my walk was, um, a beautiful rose. I had to stop and take a picture of it. And then I saw another little purple flower and it was the only flower right by a tree. And at first I thought, oh, you lonely thing. And then I was like, no, you're not lonely. You're right next to, leaning up against the tree. If you go on my Instagram, you can see it. I posted a picture of it. Um, leaning up against the tree and the grass surrounding it. I said, oh, you're not, you're not alone. And, and one of the things I wrote is you're not, uh, being alone is not being lonely. And so, uh, when I took one of the pictures, uh, I smiled to myself. And as I looked up, I can see this the man was coming along. He was coming towards my way, not to me directly, but he was coming my way. And, uh, because I was smiling, he smiled and, and it was just the sweetest exchange. And we both kept going along our paths. Um, but it was just a reminder 
that things are always working out for us, that there is beauty to be found wherever we are. Just find it, just look for it and stay there, stay there because it's the best feeling in the world. And remember, be impeccable with your word, be impeccable with your thoughts. And that's it for today. Have a great day.